Good morning everyone. A soggy period of weather for us over the next couple of days. We had a lot of rain yesterday, anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall. We're adding more on top of that this morning, and because of that, we're seeing a couple of areas with some isolated flooding. So please be careful as you're traveling today. A lot of hydroplaning potential plus ponding on the roadways could make for a few travel delays. But right now the heaviest is right along Interstate 69. So from Owasso to Flint to Fenton and then east to Lapeer, these areas picking up some moderate rains where you see the reds and yellows. There could even be a few rumbles of thunder embedded in some of this heavier rainfall. Alma, Mount Pleasant, a break, but now we filled back in, and this is what's going to be filling in along 75 from Frankenmuth to Saginaw, Bridgeport, and then north through Bay City and Pinconning. Standish picking up some moderate rains right now. And then as we head from Oscoda to West Branch to Houghton Lake, and then south to Mount Pleasant, some of these areas have picked up a little bit of sleet embedded in some of this heavier rainfall. But overall, the trend will be for more rain. That changes, though, as we go tonight into tomorrow morning, and we'll talk about that here in just a couple of minutes. So in anticipation of all of this heavy rainfall, plus what we had yesterday, flood watches have been issued from the National Weather Service. They go into effect at 2 o'clock for all the counties from the Thumb back to 75 and then over to Grand Rapids. The areas in our northern communities have not been placed under the watches as of now because the heavy rainfall from yesterday actually fell a bit to the south. But we all will pick up a general one to two inches of rain on top of what has already fallen from yesterday's totals, which were a half an inch to almost two inches of rainfall through Saginaw Township and Mount Pleasant. By the time this rain wraps up today into tomorrow, we could be seeing totals two and three day totals approaching three to four inches of rainfall, and that's why we have those watches out. So temperatures are chilly. They're into the upper 30s. This is why we're not seeing a lot of that sleet or snow mixing in, except for our extreme northern communities, because we're a bit too high above freezing. But tonight we will see temperatures dropping closer to freezing. We'll say from Mount Pleasant to Midland and Gladwin north, these areas could start to mix in with a little bit of sleet and freezing rain tomorrow morning. And because of that, there are winter weather advisories for Isabella and Clare counties for tonight into tomorrow. So here's this initial push of rain this morning. A little bit of a break over southern Lake Michigan. That will move into the area behind this initial band of rain, but more development and even some strong thunderstorms across western Illinois. That is what's going to re-enhance the rain shower activity for us throughout your day today. And then as we look towards the west for hopefully some signs of drier weather, we're just not finding it. We have a stationary area of low pressure. The circulation around it is drawing all of this deep tropical moisture along our cold front. And until this whole system slides towards the east and gets east of us, we're going to be stuck with the rain, and that means we have rain and even snow chances not only for today, but all the way into Friday. By Saturday, we may finally see a little bit of a break in the activity, but not before we get a little bit of a rain-snow mix Friday. So where's the warmth? We want the warmth because that's what's been keeping us from the snow over the last couple of days. Well, it's actually a bit to the south today, and overall the cold is going to win more than the warmth as we head into the next 24 hours, and that cold air from the UP will slide south tonight, and that's why we're going to be stuck with some sleet and freezing rain, potentially mixing in with some snow for our western communities, and it's possible the National Weather Service may extend this to the east. Right now, though, it's too tricky to call just how far south that cold air will make it for the UP. However, if you're from Saginaw South to Flint, no concerns for that. That would mainly be our northern and western communities and interior lower Michigan that have to be concerned about that. So here's the overall setup. Stationary boundary to the south, the rain and cooler temperatures to the north. Notice it's stationary. That means it's not moving for the next 24 hour period. An area of low pressure though, that will start to kick it slightly towards the east. Notice we have a break for the late afternoon, but tonight we have another wave of moisture that'll be moving in. And as we go to tomorrow morning, there it is. There's that icy potential setting up across northern lower Michigan. And that means that we could see some sleet and freezing rain in the areas again from Houghton Lake to West Branch, Oscoda, Tawas, and then back west over towards Mount Pleasant and even over to the West Branch area, possibly seeing a little bit of sleet and freezing rain. Now your seven day forecast, it's not looking great. We have the flood potential lasting all the way into the end of the work week. We get a very short break as we go to Saturday, but then our next storm system will move in Sunday into Monday. Right now, that one doesn't look as potent as what we're seeing out there now in the next two to three day period, but it will bring some more rain back into the area. So a soggy setup for us as we head into the next seven days. By the way, you can get your radar updated at any point 24 seven online at MyNBCNews.com.